My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 87. Day 87. Yesterday, the video that I did, that I made yesterday, inadvertently I forgot to change the number and it looks like it was day 85, but in fact you will find two videos where on the blackboard it will say 85, but in reality the second one of course is 86, the one that deals with mean, median and mode. Today is our day number 87. Today we'll talk about how to figure out the mean of evenly spaced number very quickly without having to do the work. How do you figure out the mean of evenly spaced number? As long as as long as as long as long as the numbers are evenly spaced, then the concept is very simple. The average is simply the middle number. The average, the mean, is simply the middle number. Many a times I have seen people sitting there doing quote unquote the work, they add up all the numbers and divide by number of numbers, figure out the average for something very simple, such as, let's look at this one here, example, example 4.2.5, 4.2.5 does not exist in the book. These are all bonus problem. It is not in the book, not in the book. It is a bonus problem. We'll do three or four questions today. 4.2.5, 6, 7, and 8. None of these are in the book. These are bonus problems. For example, if, uh, if somebody asks us, what is the average? What is the average of 15, 17, 19, 21, and 23? What's the average of 15, 17, 19, 21 and 23. 23, as you can see, they are all evenly spaced. They are consecutive odd numbers. In a evenly spaced meaning, the difference is always one, or rather two, the difference is always two. And if that's the case, the average is just a middle number. That's all it is, you don't have to do any work. Now, if they are not evenly spaced, if you see an oddball thing, for example, at the end, 15, 17, 19, 21, and 20, uh, 24, say for example, Instead of 21, it happens to be 24. We just have to realize, had it been 23, the average would have been 19. It is not 23, it is 24. It is one more. So what's the average of these five numbers? Well, the average of these five numbers was 19. Now we have one extra. That one extra needs to be divided evenly among one, two, three, four, five people. There you go. The average of this series is nine, 19 and one fifth. 19 and one fifth. Let's do one more. 4.2.6. It says, what's the average of 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17? As we can clearly see, they go up by exactly 3 each time. They are evenly spaced. Mean of evenly spaced numbers. They are all evenly spaced. They will go up by exactly 3. 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. Therefore, the average is the middle number. Average is 11. There we go. What will be the average of 5, 8, 11, 14, and let's say 20? Well, again, we have to understand that had it been 17, had it been 17, 3 more than 14, the average would have been 11. But it is not, it is not 17, it is 20. It is 3 more. We have 3 extra dollars, we need, which, which needs to be divided by 5, divided among 5 people, which 3 extra dollars, they need to be divided evenly, equally, among five people. Therefore, the new average, instead of being $11, which is the middle number, now it's going to be 11 and 3 fifths. That's all it is. That's all it is. Yesterday's video, 
I told you to watch the 10 videos in this series here. There's a series of videos in, on my channel called Basic Math. That's what it says. Basic Math is not a GRE Math. It's just Basic Math. There are 100 videos. And if you're interested in getting some more practice as to how to figure out the average very quickly, watch those 10, those 10 videos. Basic Math, day 68 through 75. And then I did two more, day 93 and 94. So just type in basic math day 93 and the, and the video will pop up. There are 10 of them. You don't have to watch all 10 of them. Watch as many as you want, two or three if you like, uh, until, 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 you, until, until you had enough. Let's do, let's do one more. 4.2.7. 4.2.7. Question now is, what's the average of... What is the average of 20, 25, 30... And 35. Well, now it's difficult to figure out the middle number because there are even number of numbers. There are only four of them. There are even numbers. It's not, we don't have odd number of numbers where we can figure out the middle one very easily. We have even number of numbers. But they are evenly spaced. As long as they are evenly spaced, the average is going to be what falls exactly in the middle. What falls exactly in the middle between 25 and 30 is 27 and a half. Because 27 and a half is exactly two and a half more than 25 and is exactly two and a half less than 25, uh, exactly two and a half less than 30. So the average of these four numbers is simply 27 and a half. You don't have to do anything. We don't have to do anything at all. What, what if, what if instead of 35, they had asked us to find the average of 20, 25, 30, and 38, for example? Well, it's 38. We know had it been 35, had it been 35, the average would have been the middle number 27 and 1 half. But it's not the middle number anymore. The average of these four numbers is no longer the middle one because we have three extra. Oh, what do we do with the three extra? Well, take the three extra dollars that we have, take the three extra dollars we have, and divide it evenly among the four people. Oh yeah, there's your new average. The new average is 27 and a half plus three quarter. 27 and a half and three quarters, or half and three quarters is one and a quarter. One and a quarter plus 27, so the new average is going to be 28 and a quarter. Voila. That's all there is. That's all there is. Let's do one more. 4.2.8. 4.2.8. And this time we're going to present it as it might appear in the exam in the form of quantitative comparison question. And the idea is to compare the two quantities, which is why the bloody thing is called quantitative comparison. Nobody is asking us to actually compute the bloody thing. Do you understand? That takes too much. Let's look at the problem. Two quantities will be given to us, as I said before, as I said a second ago, because it's a quantitative comparison question. And therefore, two quantities are given to us in the two columns, as always, column A and column B. Column A says five times, five times the average of 15, 17, 19, and 22. 15, 17, 15, 17, 19, and 22. That's our column A. And we have to take five times the figure, five times the average of these four, four numbers. And here we, are, uh, here we have average of 87, 89, 91, 93, and 96. Okay, stay with me the story here. Let's take care of this part here because here we have to do five times. Let's take care of this one. So again, we realize 87, 89, 91, 93. Had it been 95, they would have been evenly spaced. Exactly a difference of two each time. 87, 89, 91, 93, 95. The average in that case would have been 91. But alas, alas, they're not evenly spaced. Instead of 95, this guy is 96. We have one extra dollars. So instead of average being 91, we have one extra dollars that needs to be divided evenly among one, two, three, four, five people. There you go. The average of these five numbers is 91 and one-fifth. 91 and one-fifth. What about this guy? Let's take a look at it. 15, 17, 19. Had it been 21, had it been 21, had it been 21, the life would have been very simple. The average would have been 18. The average would have been 18. But it's not. It's not. It's not 21. It is 22. We have one extra dollars. We have one extra dollars that needs to be divided evenly among four people. One, two, three, four. So the average of these four numbers is 18 and one quarter. 
But that's not enough. We are not, com we are not comparing the average of these four numbers versus the average of these five numbers. We are told to find five times the average of these numbers. So we have to multiply this thing by five. Multiply it by five. Let's do that, shall we? I'm going to remove the parentheses and put the multiplication sign so it doesn't get too crowded. And let's figure out five times the figure, shall we? Let's do it together. I'm going to change the color because we have the flair for the dramatics. So here we go. We're going to figure out five times this figure. So we have 5 times 10, which is 50, 5 times 8, 5 is a 40, and 5 times a quarter is going to be 5 quarters. 5 quarters. There you go. Let's, let's find out the sum, shall we? Let's find out the sum. So one more time, one more time, 5 times 10, 5 times 10 is a 50 here. Then we had 5 times 8, 5 is a 40. And 5 times a quarter is the 5 quarter. 40 plus, 50, 40 plus 50 is 90. So it's 90 and 5 quarters. 90 and 5 quarters, or well 5 quarters is the same as 4 quarters and a quarter. So it's just 91 and a quarter. 91 and a quarter versus 91 and 1 fifth. Of course, quarter is more than 1 fifth, so the answer is A. Answer is A. Because 91 and 1 quarter is bigger than 91 and 1 fifth, right here. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.